these diagrams here represents the shape of different orbitals so s subshell has one orbital that is the s orbital which is spherical in shape so the shape of s orbital is spherical also we have three p orbitals px which is oriented along the x direction and py which is oriented along the y axis pz which is oriented along the z axis and all the p orbitals are dumbbell shaped d orbitals are double dumbbell shaped we have five different d orbitals dyz dxy dzx dz square dx square minus y square which are oriented along the respective directions the size of all these orbitals increases with increase in the value of n so we can write that 4s is greater in size than 3s which is greater in size than 2s in turn greater than 1s similarly for the p orbitals as the size of the orbital increases the value of energy also increases so we can write 4p is greater than 3p which is greater than 2p in the same way for d orbitals the size of the orbital increases as the value of n increases same way the order of energy is also varies also we need to discuss a important term that is node node is a region where the probability of finding electron is zero in case of s orbital if you consider the region inside this sphere any point if you consider you have a equal probability of finding electrons at that particular point in case of p orbitals the probability of finding electrons is zero at this point where the two lobes meet similarly with respect to py orbital at this point the probability of finding electron is zero and the same thing with respect to the d orbitals so here we have two different types of nodes the radial node and the angular nodes radial node is present between the s orbitals whereas the angular nodes are present between p orbitals and d orbitals the number of radial nodes can be calculated by n minus l minus 1 where n is the principal quantum number l is the azimuthal quantum number and the number of angular nodes is equal to the azimuthal quantum number so that is given by l angular nodes is equal to l and the number of radial nodes is n minus l minus 1 so total nodes is the sum of radial nodes and angular nodes it is nothing but 
L minus L minus 1 plus L. So L and L gets cancelled. The total number of nodes is equal to N minus 1. This is how you can calculate the total nodes, angular nodes as well as radial nodes. All these are important to remember. The energy of the orbitals is determined by the principal quantum number. For hydrogen atom, increasing order of energy is written as 1s less than 2s which is equal to 2p less than 3s is equal to 3p which is equal to 3d less than 4s which is equal to 4p is equal to 4d equal to 4s and this is greater than the remaining energy levels. Here for n is equal to 2 the s and p orbitals has same energy. For n is equal to 3 Yes, P, D orbitals have same energy. So, these set of energy levels are called as degenerate. For hydrogen atom, 1, yes, has lowest energy. It is the most stable condition. And therefore, it is called as the ground state energy level whereas the other orbitals 2s 2p etc are termed as excited state for multi electron system the energy order is 1s less than 2s less than 2p less than 3s which is less than 3p, less than 4s, which is less than 3d. This is the order for multi-electron system. It is told based on the value of n plus n. If n plus 1 value is lower, then the corresponding orbital should have lower energy. If an orbital has same number of n plus l value and the other orbital has similar n plus 1 value, then the one which is having lower value of n will have lower energy.